hormone therapy is used to treat early and late stage breast cancer. It's mostly used in the United States after chemotherapy or when chemotherapy is not given following surgery for early stage disease, but we also give it usually in the setting of clinical trials as neoadjuvant therapy to shrink cancers in older women, women who can't tolerate chemotherapy. So it can be used in a variety of settings. We treat, use hormone therapy to treat metastatic breast cancer as well, and it's very effective there in addition. The duration of hormone therapy now for the treatment of early stage disease is very controversial. It's actually a fairly exciting area for us because we found that women who have slow growing hormone responsive breast cancers, that 50% of the recurrences occur after five years. That's in striking contrast to hormone receptor negative cancers where most of the recurrence is front loaded in the first three to five years, absolutely. I mean, if you're done at five years, you haven't recurred, your chance of recurrence is very low. So for these women who have hormone receptor positive cancers, we found that extending out hormone therapy after five years, the traditional duration being five years, has reduced recurrence and in some cases improved survival. Those studies were done when the traditional therapy was five years of tamoxifen. So women took five years of tamoxifen and then they were randomized to either get a placebo pill or an aromatase inhibitor, a drug called letrozole or Fumara. And what we found was, even though the trial was actually unblinded early at three years, that there were markedly less recurrences when you extended hormone therapy. Well now, based on a number of different research studies that have randomized almost 20,000 women with early stage breast cancer worldwide, we found that aromatase inhibitors, this new class of hormone treatments, works a little better than tamoxifen in postmenopausal women with early stage disease. So now the question is, what do you do at five years? If you took five years of an aromatase inhibitor, should you take more or not? So that's now the subject of many clinical trials that are randomizing women to continue or not. There are also trials that are starting with tamoxifen for a couple of years, then giving three to five years of an aromatase inhibitor, pretty much every combination you can think of. For premenopausal women, they aren't benefited by aromatase inhibitors. In fact, unchecked, they could be dangerous because they stimulate ovarian production of estrogen that could feed the tumor growth. So in that setting, we're looking at ovarian suppression. In other words, either removing the ovaries, which is a rather permanent solution, or giving an injection once a month to shut down the ovaries' ability to produce estrogen. And then we're looking at different hormone therapies in that setting, either tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor. Then the last thing we're looking at, which is very, very exciting, is these bone-directed treatments called bisphosphonates which may be able to kill cancer cells in the bone marrow where they hide out and wait to grow back later. And there's some very exciting data already that suggests that they work, but I think that um, we'll see results from additional large trials in the next year or two, which will tell us whether or not this is going to be a big treatment, non-chemotherapy, non-hormone treatment, a bone-strengthening medicine that could prevent cancer recurrence.